for another product briefing by LTH. Today, I'm joined by Sam Smolkin of Office and Dragons, and we're excited to hear about your solution. So, Sam, please tell us a little bit about yourself and what you were working on when you came up with the idea for Office and Dragons. Absolutely. Really happy to. So, before I started Office and Dragons, I was a private equity M&A lawyer at Kirkland & Ellis, where, you know, I really did love many aspects of my role. I love being an advisor to my clients on high stakes, high value transactions, but I was always unsatisfied with the tech that I had available to get my deals done. The sort of lights on moment for me was when I was working on this huge private equity deal with two sponsor clients who were really depending on us throughout that entire deal. But for very good reason. This is like a headline grabbing multi-billion dollar deal. And I just recall during that time, I started thinking, you know, from the outside, you'd imagine the lawyers working on a deal like this, surely they would have access to all sorts of amazing futuristic technology to get it over the line. But obviously I didn't. So there I was up late nights, copy pasting and fiddling with mail merges. And over the years, it just became frankly surreal to me that while I was representing some of the world's best clients on these headline grabbing deals, I was spending hours and sometimes literally days at a time copy pasting and fiddling with mail merges. And during those times, I just felt like I was drowning in all those different documents. I was really scared that I was going to make a mistake and I was nervous that we weren't going to get our deal closed on time because of this. So I founded Office and Dragons in 2019 to try to use modern technology to pull legal practice, particular transactional practice out of that 2003 mode and into, you know, I guess 2024 now using modern technology. That's great. Yeah, it sounds very recognizable. I was in the private equity practice at Clifford Chance and a lot of that sounds very familiar. And- <laughs> painful. Just the kind of thing that you went to an expensive, high-profile <laughs> law school for, right? Exactly. Uh, cool. And currently, what what are the kind of use cases that your customers are using Office and Dragons for? Yeah, absolutely. So high-level, Office and Dragons is a documents platform. We help your lawyers to automate away the aspects of their document work that are the most error-prone, time-wasting, lowest value to free up their time to focus on higher value, more important work for your clients. The platform is unique in that it works across all types of documents. So whether these are templates or highly bespoke negotiated agreements, you can put them into our platform and instantly automate away various aspects of that repetitive error-prone work. This could include things like mass editing, where you've got 50 different documents on your transaction, but suddenly you need to populate the closing date or change the financing amount or replace one lender with another. Rather than doing that one by one by one in our platform, you can do it all at once. Or as another example, maybe you're working in executive comp and you've spent a long time drafting the you know subscription documents for a management equity plan, but now you've got a funds flow sent to you like you know two minutes before closing. That's like hey, and now we need to duplicate these out for a hundred different managers. Here's their names and shareholding details. You know, rather than spending all night that or trying to fiddle with some kind of mail merge to do it, you can put those docs, put that information. In our platform and quickly generate those hundred different subscription packs for for all your managers. And, you know, I've kind of used some transactional kind of use cases that I'm more familiar with, but the platform's practice area agnostic. So we have plenty of folks in practices like employment, real estate, and even in litigation who use Office and Dragons for various aspects of that sort of bulk multi-document work. Yeah, no, I can remember a couple of instances where it would have been really helpful to have this kind of functionality at my fingertips. So why don't we jump into a quick demo of the application? Absolutely. So I'll go ahead and share my screen and go over some of those key workflows I just mentioned. The first workflow I'll go over is our mass editing workflow. So this is for those scenarios I was describing where, you know, suppose you're working on a financing deal in this example, and you've spent weeks putting together all your documents from the key docs down to the ancillaries, 
And then closing day, you get an email from your client or a colleague that goes something like, hey, Sam, you know, we didn't know when we were going to close, but we're closing today. So we have to date all the documents. And also we renegotiated the financing amount. So that needs to be changed everywhere. And we also need to change the definition of affiliate to suit one of the new lenders in the syndicate. So those changes need to be made across the board. You know, as I described, what I would do when I had a deal like this at Kirkland is essentially to go into every single one of those documents one by one by one copy paste mentally go through a checklist forget by the time on document five if i did document four correctly redo it document 10 20 send someone 20 red lines they flip through them inevitably find a mistake page five of red line six and now they send it back and say hey you need to redo all of this because now we're worried that those mistakes could be everywhere and whether i was the junior lawyer running the docs or the more senior lawyer reviewing them it was an absolute nightmare every time so the alternative to that is this mass editing workflow in office and dragon so in this example i've uploaded just a few documents board and shareholder resolutions to keep it simple and once i've created my matter here, the first thing I'm greeted by is this Dragon AI dialogue, which can help me by automatically extracting the information from my documents that needs to change. So the placeholder extractor will automatically extract anything in square brackets. And if you have our Gen AI functionality enabled, you can use the data extractor to extract anything that I describe in the AI prompt. So in my case, I want to pull out the square bracket placeholder for my closing date, and I also want to change the financing amount, which the AI has found for me. So once I click done, they're both in this table, and then I can go in and fill in a closing date and a new financing amount. And when I click on one of these documents, I'm going to see that the changes have been made, and I can click through my other documents and see that even though these are all different documents, the same changes are being made across them. I've shown, you know, just a few names and numbers here, but in practice areas like real estate finance or capital markets, we're often having people replace multiple clauses, sometimes pages worth of clauses with new clauses, and the platform works just as easily for that as well. And all your document formatting and everything is retained. When you're done, you click save and the app will automatically create your updated documents, new versions, which can be synced to iManager NetDocs and run red lines of all of them for you as well. And that red line functionality is your internally built in red line functionality. Yes, that's right. So that's that's our internally built in functionality. Not just document automation, it also has the red lining functionality. Exactly. And one of the most exciting things with this workflow is how we're taking it to the next level with AI. So, you know, when I was describing this workflow, it didn't really start with me already knowing what changes I needed to make where. It really starts typically with me getting an email that might look something like this, like, hey, Sam, please update these documents, please adapt them to a different company, etc. And rather than now going through all the documents, going through the instructions and setting this up myself, I can actually take that email, paste it verbatim into this prompt and have the AI take an intelligent first pass at setting up that whole workflow for me. Really importantly, what I'm not going to get at the end of this is just like 30 docs spat back out at me, like you might if you put them in a chat interface with no idea what changes were made, where or why. What I get is this really intuitive, easy to understand table of changes. And I can go through my docs and I can check that these rules are set up and being applied correctly. And if something's wrong, I don't have to change 30 documents again. And I don't have to worry that just because document one's right, maybe document two's wrong because AI is, you know, probabilistic. I can feel confident that if the rules are right here, all three, 10, 20 documents are going to be done correctly. So as the lawyer, I can review everything granularly in detail and I'm always in full control. That's cool. And, and so with that AI functionality, you could say here is 50,000 finance documents that all refer to LIBOR as the benchmark rate. And uh, click on a button, say I want to change LIBOR to Sonia or whatever it's replaced with and get those all done in one fell swoop. Apply other technology to identify the clauses in the first place. 
Yeah, 50,000 might be a bit much given uh, token limits and, uh, you know, rate limits on the use of pure Gen AI. But uh, certainly you could upload like a smaller sample, have it build the rules for you, and that's all you need. And then you can upload the rest of the documents and just have it apply those same rules to that's the rest cool. of them as well. That's cool. That's very cool. What What's underlying Gen AI engine are you using? We're using GPT-4 at this time, although we're always exploring and experimenting with updates to other models as well to make sure we're using the best tech. Fantastic. Great. Um, so yeah, one of the other uh, key functionalities I mentioned is our document generation workflow. So similar idea in a way, but a bit different as well. What I mean by document generation is where you've got you know, a suite of various different documents that you need to spin out from multiple different entities. It could be, you know, employment agreements for a thousand different employees or securitization documents for a real estate finance transaction with a portfolio of properties. In my example, I'm again going to use board and shareholder resolutions for a financing. And in this scenario, I've spent, you know, weeks drafting all my docs again from the key docs to ancillaries. I've got all my board and shareholder resolutions in agreed form. But now that it's closing day, I need to spin them all out for 16 different companies in my borrowers group. Again, back at Kirkland, I would have done something like this going through docs one by one by one, or I would have tried to fiddle with some kind of mail merge, which if you've ever done that before, I feel sorry for you. It's an absolute nightmare every time, super limited, and you spend another 10 hours splitting docs up and renaming them, even if you can get the merge to work. But here in Office and Dragons, I've again, just documents and as before, anything in square brackets has been extracted and added to this table. I then just grabbed my company names and numbers from an Excel sheet, pasted them in here. And now when I open my board resolution, you can see I've got a version of it spun out for the first row in my table. And if I click next, I'll see another version spun out for the second row. And I can continue to fill out this table to populate the values, which is you know really quick and simple for things like names and numbers. In practice, recognize that legal docs tend to be a little more complex than that. And often you need to do things like choose between different clause options, depending on the company, the employee, and so on. That's really easy to do in Office and Dragons as well. All you have to do is take your clause options, put them in the doc, surround each option with a square bracket at the start and end, which you're probably already doing in your agreed forms and precedents. And even though these are big, complex, multi-level clauses, O and D will pull them out and add them to the table. And to choose between them, I can use one of our power-ups. So these give me access to advanced functionality in the platform. And the most important one is this one called Unbracket. If I paste that into the cell for the financing docs clause, as the name implies, it's going to remove the brackets and keep it in. Meanwhile, this other clause option is left blank, so it's gone. And all the numbering and so on automatically adjusted accordingly. If I wanna make the opposite choice for a company two, just paste that in the other column and there I've made the opposite choice. And this is the same for whether you're choosing one of two clauses or five out of 15. You can make these more advanced as well using things like conditional logic to automate what you're going to keep or replace. And with Gen AI, you can even describe the logic you want built to an AI prompt, and it will build that conditional logic or formula automation for you right away. Like this one where I'm telling it to choose a Lord of the Rings role appropriate board meeting address, depending on my uh, company name. And you can add a lot more to this workflow. You can add different data types. You can even build questionnaire forms on top of this table. But the idea is that as I showed, it's really quick and simple for a lawyer, a paralegal to throw their documents in and get the work done they need. But if you're going to reuse this over time, or maybe you're in knowledge management and you want to set up some of your simpler docs as precedents for your team to reuse, you can build that yourself without requiring an automation expert to step in. That's funny. I can see a lot of fantastic use cases for it, but some of them may not all be legal even. I guess you could use them for your HR matters or for any other high volume document generation project, right? 
Exactly. And some of our large law firm customers are actually using it for HR and other sort of administrative documents within the firm. So yeah, absolutely. Cool. That's very, that's very helpful. Thank you so much for that demonstration, Sam. A great example of how you use automation in a law firm using advanced document automation technology. Thank you so much, Sam, for this demonstration, for your time. And I encourage everyone to look at it and check it out on the website. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thank you.